Alright everybody, welcome back to Grid. It has been quite a while. Quite a long while, actually. <laughs> Since I did my first uh, initial impressions on this game after a few hours. And, um... We're back again, and this will probably be one of the final videos I do in this. Um, as I've kind of talked about in the past, it's one of those things that racing games are tricky. Um, they take a lot of time. They take a lot of time to complete, and Grid has been an excellent game. Uh, but it definitely did something that I wasn't expecting when we were playing. So let's let's dig into it here. This is going to be my overall review and opinions of the game after playing, at this point, 22 hours. I'm still not done with the game. <laughs> There's a lot left, but I'm okay with putting it to rest now. We're going to do a few new things, though, just to see what they're like. Um, oh, that's not what we're playing, a with an, uh, Xbox controller, normal settings. So, random thing they probably mentioned at the beginning of the game, I didn't even realize it. You can apparently change who you're racing with. So, like, the last video, it was Nick. Now we're driving with a dude, or to our partner's name's Wheeler. You can, Wheeler. You can hire different people, and they have different perks and stats and stuff, but some of them will take more of your money, less of your money, be better. I don't know why they're there. Uh, at least for the gaming purposes, they don't do anything. <laughs> um, but as you can see, I have done a lot. And so this is, I mean, very much 22 hours worth of work just to get to this point. Now, I haven't completed any of these final cups. We might do one of these just because. Um, I'm not really even sure which one I would do. Maybe this last one because it's faster high performance cars just for the heck of it. They're all round, one round, but I don't know if it'll be like quick we'll find out but yeah before we dig into a race um grid in my opinion does a fairly decent job at mixing things up with different races um they don't do the best at explaining all the little ins and outs of things that you can do when you start a race which we'll get into when we start one but uh so it keeps things interesting for a while now i will say that I was going down and completing each one of these. We did that last time. Going down and completing each one, going to the next column, completing each one. Um, at about the halfway point, I made a game-changing uh, uh, discovery that was just a normal mechanic that I shouldn't have uh, not seen until this point. <laughs> uh, so at that point, I started doing all the way across. You know, just started staying in one category and completing it all the way till almost the very end. And... Everything from the halfway point on, for the most part, they're at least three to four rounds apiece. Which makes each event take a lot longer. Even early on, these things did not take, like, we were dealing with two rounds, and maybe a three round one, but it was one, two, three, like, it was in that range, which was okay, but the latter end of all these groups, they're all really long events. And that's honestly what has made this take so much longer, is that I will sit down to do one event and it's four rounds and it takes 30 minutes. Because it was just load times, the amount of laps there are, sometimes I'm in a race for almost 10 minutes. If it's like a big track with a not lot of laps, and I'll get to the crazy thing that I wish would have been pointed out earlier. Just with another thing that adds more time onto this, which I'll we'll get there in a minute. Um, really strange. Yeah, it just, it, it... I wish they would have kept the pace that they had early on. That's the only thing, uh, at least with how this is set up, that I was kind of like upset about in the sense that it was taking so long, I got tired of coming back and being like, well, I only have, I'm only gonna be able to get like one or two of these in, in an hour, if that, you know? <laughs> um, I feel like racing events should be at least a little shorter, at, at very least stay consistent, you know? Again, personal opinion, this is what I thought. Uh, yeah. And that's the thing, too, because I really wanted to do kind of like an end review for the campaign game and then play each season. Because I have all the seasons as well. I purchased those, too, and I wanted to look at those. And, I mean, the biggest one was going to be this last season here, which I really want to do. But I don't want to spend the time to go through the whole thing. <laughs> it takes a lot of time to play this game. It requires a huge time investment. So, with all that said... It's an excellent game. Uh, when you're in the races and you're doing everything and like all the simulation stuff for it is really awesome. Um, 
<laughs> except for that one thing. <sighs> but um, so what we're gonna do is we're, we'll probably do a couple career things and then we'll come do a few of these ones down here on track day, which is the real thing I wanted to play uh, and show off was the Koenigsegg racing cars, which I am so excited to play, but I'm also very excited to put this game to bed and move on to another one. I, I just, I need another one. I need something different. I need to move on to some different type, which I've got one ready. Just didn't want to dive into it super quick until I, I gave this one its final, final word. <laughs> so let's go do the G, uh, I guess it's, I still don't know if it's just, I guess it's group one, right? GT, IGT, whatever. It's the one with the four GT in it. <laughs> Um, we'll do the final one here. It's only one round, but it's probably gonna be a million laps So let's take a look and see what we're gonna get into. I have not played this game probably Oh my gosh, it's been so long because that's what I hit. I hit a point and then stopped playing it. So I was like, hmm Didn't want it to get to that point now You'll see I'm in second place. Usually you're down in like usually it's like random. You're just anywhere. There's only four of us <laughs> What is going on? Oh no, I don't get to pick the GT. Hey, there's my teammate. Yeah, he's uh, Peyton Wheeler. Oh no, I don't get to use the GT. No! <laughs> There's a lot of chatter out there about team do I get to do the... Kristen, I do, I do, okay. So, a thing they, I didn't even notice, and it's my fault for not noticing, but I also feel like it's the game for not like throwing it in my face. If you do the hot lap qualifying, it says at the bottom right of the screen, um, I mean, it's not hard to do it, and you will always get to start at the front of the grid, and when you're racing against 16 people, it changes the game completely. We'll go into a bit more here. I'll, let me do the qualifying. It's raining. It's raining. That's great. I haven't played this game in forever. How do we play again? Well, it's a racing game, so good thing these things kind of come rather naturally to me. <laughs> or I pick them back up rather naturally. I'm not, like, upset the reason. I'll, I'll or the Austin Martin. Um, but yeah, that hot, this hot lap thing is because you're basically competing for time and whoever has the best time on the hot lap starts at the front of the grid, which I feel like considering that's the name of the game would have been a very important thing to very much throw in the player's face, which they didn't. Or if they did, it was very quick and I, it, it wasn't something that left a lasting impression for me to actually do. So, oh boy. Uh, one of the things, like, it was just one of those things, as soon at that halfway point on that, uh, that event page I showed you just, we were back at just a minute ago, once I hit that halfway point, I discovered that was a thing, and I started completing events like crazy. There was no more vehicle wrecks, there was no more smashing into people, making enemies or nemesis. I was always out front. I was always out front. The only time I wasn't was when people would pass me at the starting line, and then I'd quickly pass them on the first turn. That was it. Like, it was crazy. Oh, we went so much faster than that guy. Holy cow. So we got it. Okay. First place. You know, that's by time. 124. Uh, yeah, four seconds faster. Usually, it, it'll if it's really competitive or if it's a new track I've never played on, which at this point, they're basically morphing the track. So they're opening chunks and closing chunks in the same area. So the track, all sections of the tracks I've been racing have been ones I've already done. So... It's a way to make the tracks new, but I know them well enough uh, now <laughs> that it's nothing's really been surprising me. The biggest surprise was racing in San Francisco. I hadn't done that yet, or at least not to like where the the roads level out and you get, actually get some air, and it's fun. It's fun. Um, but yeah, this is the thing is that getting first place on these hot lap qualifying is really easy. Uh, and so I'm always at least two seconds or more. I've had some where I've been almost... 30 seconds ahead in one of them. I don't know. It was it was insane. Thanks, Wheeler. You know, you're still in fourth. <laughs> I only hired him because his take from the winnings was super low. <laughs> Just probably why he's not as good. Again, I don't really know why he's there. So let's see how this goes. This is only two laps, and that was pretty quick. So this will probably be a pretty quick event. Um, ooh, wait, here we go. Nope, you stay back there. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Stay back there, sir. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, I'm really curious how they're gonna have, 
uh, how the game's going to change, because I hope it changes a bit with the new vehicles. I hope it's not just, oh, you got a new vehicle and, uh, you know, with uh, hypercars, and, but you're racing on the same tracks. I hope they brought in some new tracks as well. I really hope they do. Because I don't know how well uh, <laughs> a Koenigsegg going 250 on these kind of tracks is going to work. I don't know. I could be, you know, I mean, it's, it's racing. You just have to slow down more, I guess. Um, we'll see if they hold to that, too. The Koenigsegg can get up to really high speeds. All of their cars can get up to really high speeds. So I'm very curious as to what extent they're going to allow for their racing additions. Um, other than Need for Speed, this will be the first time I'm ever driving a Koenigsegg vehicle in a race in a racing game other than a car game like Hopper, Need for Speed Hoppers. Need for Speed. <sighs> so, uh, if it wasn't obvious, I'm a very big fan of Koenigsegg's vehicles. They're very impressive. Not practical, but very impressive. <laughs> Last lap, so... Hold the lead through to the end now. Yeah, see, we are, and that's the thing too. Um, I may have mentioned this. I don't know if it was something I realized. It's been a while now, so if I repeat myself, apologies. But when it's raining, if you can drive well when it's raining, you will always stay ahead of the bots because the bots are very timid when it rains. Um, yeah, they're very, they're a lot less aggressive. They don't drive as uh, confidently, if you want to put it that way. That might be, yeah, that's probably the closest way you can put it. The fireworks are so distracting because they're so pretty. Go, go, go. So yeah, um, I will say one of the things that made, was kind of fun was the, the bottom part of that event grid. Uh, at the beginning is the, I think it was the international section. Which allowed you to do events with Ferrari, and we did events with Mini Coopers at the beginning. Stuff like that, but those are really cool. And I appreciated kind of the mix-up. Instead of just doing stuff with the normal events up top, each one of those was kind of different and, uh, in their own right. So they added a different class of vehicle, which was super cool. But, um, again, it came down to one of those things that because... Ooh. Oh! Oh, okay, yeah, there you go. Wow, not very many people have gotten that achievement. 7% <laughs> of people. <laughs> Doesn't surprise me. I'm not saying that because the game's bad. It just takes a long time to get to that point. Um, yeah. That was weird that that was only four of us. That's the first event I've done where there's only four people. Wow. <laughs> I did get up to level 65, which, jeez, so many little unlockables, which don't really mean anything. <laughs> Come on, Wheeler, he didn't even get into third. <laughs> ah. Oh, I had a feeling that once you, what happens if you get, oh, is this, is this like a super event or something that if we were to do these four at the end or do four of them, we would unlock something here. I don't know. I'm not really that interested in figuring it out. Um, yeah, because like the... It, yeah. Oh, no, the Invitational. Sorry, not International. The Invitational. These will unlock after you get stuff done here or after you complete ones down here, which, I mean, was cool. It was neat. I enjoyed doing the few of these that I did because it was like, whoa, this is the old school Ferraris and the old school 4GT. And, uh, but I... Again, it just took a lot of time, and I didn't want to play Dig Into Him more because I was going through, and I hadn't finished this one, and I need to finish this one, and I want to play different racing games. Now, that doesn't mean that I won't come back, but I, I not right now at least. So, to wrap things up, let's go to the one event that I really want to get to, <laughs> which is the hyper car racing. I have no idea what this entails, but we're probably going to do both of these because why the heck not? They're both hyper and that's what I want. They're going to be really expensive, but I have $15 million because, you know, that's how it is. So we have the Ferrari Evo. Can I please get a picture? Oh, look how pretty it is. Oh, Ooh. oh the Codex Sega Guerra. That is a beautiful car. I still think that the Codex Sega CCXR is, will always be my favorite. But that doesn't mean that the rest of Koenigsegg's vehicles aren't incredible. I am not... Wow, look at the difference! 
the the weight on the I mean that makes sense the Bugatti Veyron was a V12 it's ridiculous <laughs> and the Koenigsegg is a supercharged V8 that goes faster than the, the Bugatti then the new one is the Koenigsegg Jesko which I haven't like there's not a ton of stuff for it game wise so I'm probably gonna have to buy both and we'll uh, we'll play with both so let's do the original let's do the first race with the Koenigsegg Agera and then we'll also buy the Jesko. Oh, man. <laughs> it's great. Do they have skins? Please tell me they have some cool skins. Uh, right button. I gotta push the right button. Alright, we'll do this one first. Let's take a look. I gotta look for uh, stuff that I haven't used yet. Because I know there's a lot of things I've unlocked. <laughs> oh, man. Look at that. Woo! <laughs> oh, oh, I like the dark, but I love this light color. This light blue with kind of a purple to it. Can I, all right, let me customize it. Can I remove sponsors off? Please take those off. Ooh! <laughs> that. Wait, no, wait, no, wait, why, why? No, did that not work? No! I want that one. That was really pretty. Uh, customize. Sponsors. Sponsors off. Why did... The, okay, What? what's the deal here? Don't do this to me. Oh, I have to select it first and then... Okay, that's weird. Oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah, we'll do the Jesco next time. We'll do the Jesco for the last one. Man, yeah, of the hypercar class, Koenigsegg is the best. Koenigsegg is the best. Oh, I'm surprised they didn't bring the Zonda in, because uh, the Zonda, uh, the, the Pagani, Pagani is also a hypercar class. I'm surprised they didn't bring them in. I think so. Pagani's hyper. But anyway, I'm very excited. <laughs> we got a full class, which means we're probably gonna do a hot lap, which means we'll get to experience the car without anybody else around which means we're not going to try to scratch it at all because it's beautiful so i'm so excited <laughs> but this is a good example to talk about this though like the load time it takes a long time <laughs> welcome to suzuka and strap yourselves in because this is the grid world we're doing the hot lap i don't need any more races with the hot lap and the hot lap just adds more time making events even longer, but it guarantees me that I'll win. <laughs> it's not raining either. Yes! Oh. Go, 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 go. Go, baby, go. <laughs> oh, did you see the spoiler? I got distracted by the spoiler. When it gets going fast, it, like, uh, flips up. Oh, my gosh. Yes! Let me go back. I'm like way too excited for this. I can't handle myself right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, give me, give me open road. Give me like a long stretch of road. None of these turns. I just want to drive straight. That was the best thing about Need for Speed Hot Pursuit was they just had open roads where you could just go flat out. Oh, that was so fast! Oh, man. I mean, that was very fast, you know. Which is fair. <laughs> See? At least two seconds faster. Wheeler, come on, dude. <laughs> the sound, though. That is a pretty sound. That's a pretty purr she's got. Ooh. <laughs> Totally unpractical, but man, would I love to have one of these cars, uh, a Koenigsegg one day. It's never going to happen, because the dang things are worth more than <laughs> even some of the nicest the houses out there, but that's why we can enjoy them Kristen, here, what can you tell us and it's fun. Let's do okay. it! It's I like love this color star. scheme with it! It's great! Alright, Bugatti, let's go! <laughs> Look at the Bugatti blue twins behind us. <laughs> Woo! 
Ooh, I tried to take that corner way too fast. Woo! <laughs> there's six laps! Holy cow! See that? All right, there's another... Ooh, go! Nope. That's another good example. Um, you'll... You'll... You'll see is that, like, sometimes... You won't know going into it. You'll be like, yeah, we'll go do one event. Um, and you'll get in there to be like, oh, yeah, this is a... Uh, six laps. Now, to be fair, this is a short track. It's not very long, so it should be easy to pull off fairly quickly. Plus, we're also driving cars that are stupidly fast. Um, but you'll have some tracks that are three... I think the total events are, like... I still don't know if it's three miles in track three length or lap, three miles total race. of all the laps, but... Some of them will be like, oh yeah, this is a really long track, and you've also got to drive for four to five laps, and it's like, okay, I'm going to be here for at least ten minutes. Um, which again, doable, it's just very lengthy. Okay, recover, recover, there we go. Made it work, made it work. It is really sad, though, because I really would like... There is a track that I would love to drive on with this thing. Um, we might have to go do it as kind of an extra thing after we do this. But um, it's uh, it's an event where you're up in the mountains and there's just a bunch of open road sections. There's some tight, you know, S-turn bits and hill climb bits, but it's also just so nice. I've also noticed that, uh, since I'm using a new controller now, which I've probably said a million times in videos at this point, <laughs> the Xbox uh, One Elite 2 controller is really nice with the triggers, and it actually is easier to try to do half throttle or like partial throttle on the controller and, controller and treat it more like a gas pedal, which actually in this game helps, because if you're always going flat out or nothing, um, it makes taking corners a little more difficult, which I have noticed. Go, 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 go. I wish this was a longer stretch. I just want to see how fast this thing can get going. Oh, see, we get up to almost 220 there. I just want to keep going faster. There actually is a... Uh, I played an event that was basically just eight laps of NASCAR, which wasn't the most entertaining thing in the world to play, but it is a nice open track that it would be good to let this thing loose. Get out, get out. There we go. We're good. Good recovery. They didn't give us a penalty either, so we'll take it. I'm also talking a lot, which isn't helping me. I normally have to focus pretty heavy. But again, doing the hot lap, you usually you don't have to focus as much anymore. Come on, come on, come on. Go, baby. Go, baby. Go. Let her let loose. Stretch your legs. <laughs> Two laps left. <laughs> Woohoo! 200. 220! <laughs> oh, I just want to keep going with it, man. You know, I'm surprised they didn't put in the... Um... Oh, shoot. What Koenigsegg was it? Oh, I'm totally spacing on it right now. They had the CC, mo the CC models. They had the... Um... The Agera. The, reg the Regera. Yeah, the Regera. The Regera was a... Uh, I don't think it was fully electric, but it had... Wait, well, yeah, I'm not doing great. I'm breaking way too much now. I'm not paying attention. Um, the Regera has a gearless gearbox, which I believe at the time was like the first that at the time they'd ever done something like that, and it's super cool. So I can't wait for a game where I can play that. I know there are games that have it in it. I've just never... I just haven't played them. I think one of the newer Need for Speeds has it. Maybe it's in, like, Need to Feed the Run or something. I'm not entirely sure. But, yeah, my first experience, actually, with the Koenigsegg vehicles in-game was Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, the 2010 one. They brought the Koenigsegg CCXR in, and it was, like, the best vehicle in the game. Um, next to, like, they had some special McLaren, I think, was in there as well. Maybe Bugatti, Veyron? Yeah, see, we're fine. <laughs> No, that was quick. That was good. I wish it was a different map. We might do another one just to see. Uh, with, we'll see how the Jesco drives. The Jesco is very new to me, but um, the Agera is still a very, very, very pretty Koenigsegg vehicle. Ah, uh, level 66. Cool. All right, Wheeler, you were way far behind there from what I, I don't even know where he was at. 
All right, now let's do this one. And we're going to do the Jesco. And we're going to customize it. Ha ha. <laughs> All right, what do you got for me? Let's go to art. Let's see what other art options there are. Oh, there isn't anything past what we had there. What was that one? There was a green one in here, wasn't there? That's a nice one. Mm, let's go see prestige. Ooh, that's nice. Ooh. That fits me very well. Circuit, circuit design. That's nice too. It really doesn't matter. They're all pretty. <laughs> Uh, let's go with this one. Oh, but it's kind of the green. I don't know if I want the green. I want it to be more of a blue. Let's see. That's nice. Where is that one? Is it this one? Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Sponsor's off. Nice. Ooh. Look at the power versus the weight. It's the fastest of this class, so I'm excited. So there's going to be two events here, so we'll try to get through these pretty quick. Again, we're going to do the hot lap. I am not playing bumper cars with cars this nice. Also, if they were probably to actually charge what the cars were actually worth in this game with in-game winnings, they'd be over multiple millions, but... <laughs> they'd have to give you a lot more winning cash for that. I didn't recognize that track we just did super well, so I'm wondering if these are new tracks. We're only doing two of these, so I have no idea. Kristen, this Austrian circuit is known the world over. Tell us about it. Ooh, that's a nice straight bit. I may have done it, though. I have no idea. Ooh, let's do it. I can't wait. <laughs> Ooh. Seventh gear. Eighth gear? This thing has eight gears? <laughs> oh. Woohoo! I don't know what the limits are for this vehicle. It makes it very tricky. Wow, it shifts up so fast. That's it? Man! Oh, that's it? Come on! Give me one that's super long. Maybe the next one will be. We have we have time. <sighs> wow, that is a that's really short. I mean, you know, four laps, I get it. I mean I'm grateful it's not super long, but wow. Ooh, she sounds pretty though. Kristen, <laughs> a pleasure as always to be in your company. Oh, here we go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, we got the Ferrari behind us this time. Bay, back off, man. Oh, boy. Yep, that was bad. That's okay. We'll recover. I was trying to get ahead of the dude that was behind me. I love the fact that the wing, the spoiler, like, just adjusts on its own when you break and everything. All right, go, go, go. Open up, open up, open up. Six, seven, eight. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh, I had to hit the stop sticks. Oh, boy. <laughs> we, uh, stopped way too late. Ooh, we were okay. That actually makes sense because I had a much faster uh, go into that corner. <laughs> oh, that was fun though. I bet I can get going pretty quick on that straightaway if I'm careful. Oof, that was that was tough. That's not gonna be great. That's all right. All right, go, baby, go. Okay, you're halfway through the race. Woo! 
Oof, that was close. Even though I started breaking right when the thread hit, it was... I should have probably been breaking earlier. <laughs> I want to do with these cars is just go fast. I don't want to drive technically. Uh. Man, the dude in second is actually pretty far ahead of everybody else. Final lap. Man, I, I can't even get up to speed. Uh, I really want to, though. You gotta drive more technically than driving for fun. I would love to see this thing on the San Francisco track because <laughs> you get some air <laughs> with some of the vehicles. Very good, very good Woo, sideways finish. Wow, that was a lot of money. <laughs> Here's $100,000 for winning. All right, one more, one more. Where are we going? Please have it be a really long lap with lots of good straightaways. Not even straightaways. Just give me, like, ones where I don't have to slow down a lot on turns. That would be really nice. Come on, next. Oh, another five laps. Oh, at least it's not raining. At least it's not raining. I'm in second. Should we do that? We're doing the hot lap. Should we do the hot lap? No, let's, you know what? We're going to experience it. No hot lap. No hot lap. <laughs> We'll try it, see how it goes. Means we gotta get headed to the dude in first. Technically, ooh, what was he what was he driving? He's driving the Agera, so technically I should be faster, but he might have a quicker takeoff than I do. I think the uh Agera was a little heavier than the Jesco. I could be wrong, but Yeah, I don't remember specifically. Let's try it. No hot lap. <laughs> this is probably gonna be a bad idea. <laughs> I don't want to hurt it. <laughs> and we're heading into the final It'll make this event now. faster, too. Let's just do it. Just commit. Okay. Commit. Oh, like boy. Here we go. Okay. Learn on the fly. Learn on the fly. Come on. Come on, dude. You're going way too slow for a car that fast. Come on, come on, come on, come on. The hot lap really does also help you learn how the track works without uh, messing things up. Oh, boy. Yep, that's it. Come on, go, 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 go. I'm faster than you. <laughs> he is not happy that I did that. Woo! Slow down, slow down. He's behind you. You can keep him behind you. It's not hard. I, had, I scraped him just a little bit, but, you know, we'll take it. Woof! Whoa! Okay, we're good, we're good. It could have been a lot worse. <laughs> this is a hard uh, track to keep vehicles like this contained. They're powerful! Dude, it looks mean from behind. This is awesome. Eesh. You've got three laps. I know, and I'm nicking the edges of the track. It's fine. These are just a lot more narrow. Whoa! Oh, I don't want to deal with that. No, no, no. I went to hit the... Uh... There we go. Good recover from that one this time. Yeah, I know. I know, I know, I could have done that one better. And right here is always kind of scary. Oof. Oh man, every Two time. To go. And we're hitting, dealing with the curves again. I don't want to deal with the curb with these kind of cars. Come on.
That was a little better. That was good. The final lap. Last lap. So hold the lead through to the end now. Oh, gotta be careful with those curves. Okay, better. I should have gone out. Didn't. That's okay. We'll deal with it. Better. And slam to the wall, so that's good. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, I banged her up a little bit. Could have been a lot worse. Could have been a lot worse. <sighs> that was scary. I think we might, we're probably going to do what we did with um, V-Rally 4. We're going to go do one lap. Um, I think we're going to take the Agara just because I'm more familiar with the Agara. Another level? Holy cow. <laughs> that was quick. Nice. Jessica was very fun, though. Okay. Well, there you go. I will... I'm not going to be doing any more of the events. Um, it's fun. Like, there are fun things to do. Free play. There we go. Uh, oh, I found it! I found it! Oh, I don't remember which route is the best way to take. Oh, that would be really fun. This is a good one. Should do random. All right, this is it. This is what I wanted. This is the longest event in the game, and it's six miles. And we're just gonna drive, cause yes. <laughs> Let's take the Hagera out <laughs> for a spin. <laughs> uh, good stuff, man. Oh, it's just me. It's just me. When I put it down to one, I didn't think. I thought that was competitors. Oh, okay, I get it. Oh, I'm excited. Well, so I guess we we'll start talking about it now. This is uh this has been an interesting racing experience. Um, because I really haven't spent a lot of time in racing games that are more track based. So this has been really fun to experience. Um, considering it's made by Codemasters, so there is the quality that comes with that. Oh, here we go. Listen to her purr. <laughs> oh, we're going to enjoy this. So, uh, again, there are some things about the game that aren't the greatest. Um, just the length of time of events is one of the biggest things um, over time. But again, it's something that if I really wanted to come back and do, I would love to come back and do more. It's just I need a break for a while. Um, and I, so I can play some other types of racing games. So that's really just it. Other than that, this game is really good. I appreciate the settings that allow you to change how your experience is. Um, you can have these racing lines on or off. I have them on for the corners, which helped me a lot because I don't, I'm not very good at predicting speed and I like to go fast. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I was really bad when I initially started playing because they weren't there. <laughs> oh, nope, don't do that. <laughs> that was cool though. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, as for like car selection, handling, I have enjoyed all of it. This car is so fast, I'm not used to it. Um, but I think for the rest of this, ooh, all right, we need to not be smacking into things like a madman. It's because I'm talking too much. I'm going to calm down a little bit. I'll let go of the car here in just a minute. Um, this is not much nicer. Actually, you know, maybe let me set this so that I only... Ooh, hold on, more. Oh, really? That's how that works? Interesting. There's the Elite Controller has a different way it does things. But, uh, yeah, I, I mean, it's good. I'd recommend it to anybody to play. Um, there's just a lot to it, and it, it may take... I mean, if you're a really dedicated racer fan, you'll have a lot of content to play, and it's awesome. But if you're more of a casual arcade racer, you'll. I think you'll still enjoy it a lot. Um, since you can kind of customize it to be more of an arcade style. 
But uh, for the rest of this, I think I'm just going to enjoy it. I have enjoyed Grid. I've enjoyed the time I spent with it. I feel like I've definitely got more than my money's worth out of it. <laughs> it's very beautiful, very fun to play, and I look forward to playing uh, some of the next racing games. So I will see you guys at the end of this. I'm going to enjoy racing, and you guys can sit here, enjoy, or skip to the end, or whatever you'd like to do. But let's have fun racing through the rest of this at full speed. So enjoy. everybody that was fun I'm actually glad I did that that was a good way to do that just to focus and play <laughs> it's very different when you get to just suck yourself into the game and enjoy playing it it's awesome <sighs> it's good stuff man it is good stuff well I hope you guys have enjoyed looking at this game again and uh, kind of giving them a little bit of my opinions about how it is through, the, through most of it and you know what they you know what that leaves if you guys are curious go play some of the stuff i haven't i know there's a lot more content that's still there there's a bunch of other stuff that's like season based that i didn't do uh so please go check it out uh they, this game is deserving of a lot of praise uh i thoroughly enjoyed it and not just because we got to drive with <laughs> koenig seg vehicles <laughs> All right, thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you in the next racing video where, depending on what it is, we might play through the whole thing together. So we'll see. <laughs> Thanks again, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Bye.